Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is uh, Speaking Geek, the only video blog show about all the cool things that geek chic, wonderful things that you seem to like. What's going on with my hand today? I uh, wanted to show this really quick, really cool thing. I've been waiting for about two years. I pre-ordered it, and finally it is coming. Comic Book Hero Action Figure Customizing Kit. So, uh, I've been waiting a long time to get this. So, this is the front of the package. This is it I got from... Big Bay Toy Store, yes. Gotta love Big Bay Toy Store. So here it is, and they give you a couple body structures and um, fully posable. Uh, open it up right here, ready? See, there they are, nice blank figures. And they said side of the box, the back of the box, the stuff you can do with the figures. We do all this great stuff. And uh, they really did the artwork pretty well. It gives you that real 70s feel to it. Jack Kirby inspired looking artwork. Uh, you open it. It's by EMC EMCE Toys Brand. Uh, they've done some other stuff. I've seen it. I'm drawing a blank right now because I'm. Yeah. Because it says three articulated four inch scale action figures, five heads, two pairs of fists, two capes, two paintbrushes, six various color paints, and one set of decals. Uh, the decals are pretty generic. You can see that they're like onks and stars and lightning bolts. So, you know, if you just want to help create your character to look like any one of these guys, and, you know, you got a choice. I, I like this. This is kind of cute. Uh, I wasn't really going to do this as a video, but since you guys are here, I like you guys. Uh, let's open it up and check it out. So, yeah, it comes up and you pull it up. Alright, there's two sets of plastic trays, you see, just a tray with the brushes and the capes. And then the top tray here has the, take it out nice and easy, put this off to the side. And there you go, you have the bodies. So this plastic top comes off, and you get the body structures. Alright, just so you guys know, these are all male figures. There's no female figures yet, maybe they might make one that later. So here it goes, there's a decapitated head. Um, so, at that point of articulation, the hand turns, it goes out, comes in, upper body just has a waist turn, the legs kind of go out, this kind of like a, reminds you of like a Kenner body structure, well, a little bit more than the old school Kenner, and down like that, so, you get a decent range of movement, you don't have 100%, the legs can't go fully out, it's not exactly... Um, like a GI Joe. So I'm going to go through any head on it just so you can see what it looks like. You can see the head comes with this peg and it pegs in. So I think once I put the head in, it's going to stay in there. So, but oof. I'm a little disappointed in the. I don't know, it just feels a little weird. Let's look at that. I can't even get the head in. Alright, I don't want to kill it. Anyway, there's you guy with the head. I'm going to try to do a proper video if I can get this head in. But uh, it just... I feel like Shapeways would have done better than this. I feel we waited such a long time for this kit. And, you know, everyone wants to make your own custom superheroes. It's just kind of cool to do. And I'm just having a real issue. If I can't even get the damn head in. You see that? I really can't get this head in. That's slightly ridiculous. And it's starting to get very... It's getting really, uh, he's starting to get flimsy already. Uh, I'll try to do a proper video one day when I get the chance, but just so you can see, I couldn't even get the head in to the one body. Let's try a different body. The body structure seemed to be all identical. I was kind of hoping for a beefier, stocky guy, but they're all generically the same size, and all the heads are just the same. I guess you have to do some real customizing to make this work but I couldn't get it in so I'm not going to break it anymore so there's the sticker sheet it's right there I'm just going to put this guys back in uh, the paints are really let me show this to you guys these are just some cheap paints you know just cheap little paints right there and then you're going to ask me how much it cost so maybe I could justify the price that way. It was about thirty something dollars, actually. Yeah, about thirty something plus dollars, and we waited two years for this. And there's a lot of kibble. 
there's a ton of kibble all over these figures. They're, they're really got a lot of kibble, a lot of extra. Oh, whoa, look at this. Now you can see it that well. You see it that way. See that? The arm is separating from from it already. And it wasn't even played with. It's literally popped out of the socket. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, if you want to be a customizer, do your own custom figures, and then you kind of think this is a cool start. I feel that we waited so long, and it just came off looking really cheap. I think the best part of this is the packaging. And honestly, when I do my video review, I don't think it's going to get any better. So guys, if you were thinking about getting this, and it tells you it includes everything you need to customize figures, they're not telling you that it doesn't include probably a nail file because you have to file down all the kibble, uh, probably glue because the joints are going to pop off. I honestly, I want to support a company that's from New York, but I, I I have a serious problem with this. Uh, it's cheaper than I realized, and not very cool. And I don't think you guys should be buying this. <sighs> Hate to say it, but I mean, if you're good at customizing, maybe you might want to use it. Might be some stuff here you can use, but don't just buy some GI Joe figures, spray paint them white, and go at it yourself. Uh, it'd be cheaper and a lot better than buying these really crappily made figures. It's sad because I'm a big build you know build the figure uh, customizer. I like customizing figures. I like having the opportunity to blank figures to make your own and add them in and three and three quarter inch action figures to four inch scales are really cool. This is a great custom figure called blanks. B L N A X blanks figures and they're about this size but they're done more like GI Joe scale. They're about eight to ten bucks a figure but they're better made. I'll do a video on that too I have one. So guys um if you're still interested in buying this, you know, just buy everywhere. That if mine came like this, who knows what years ago it looked like. And do me a favor, you got this kit and it came out perfect. Leave me a response. Send me a tweet. Send me a picture saying you're an idiot, you're wrong. Uh, but if not, let me know how bad yours is as well. Also, if you do customize them, send me flicks, man. I would love to see what kind of custom figures you guys do. So I remember to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the channel there. And follow me on Twitter at AltMinds, A-L-T-M-I-N-D-Z. Go to AlternativeMinds.com. We have lots of banners, a lot of great, you know, we're affiliated with a lot of guys like Entertainment Earth, Sideshow Collectibles, Audible.com, Amazon.com, and Japanese Pod 101. So if you guys need to buy crap, you know, click those ad affiliates and help us out. That'd be really cool. Or the least you could do is just subscribe to this channel and watch my videos here all the time. And that means a lot more to me, guys. All right. Until next time.